this there's 15 percent of guys who are crushing it financially with women they just have their shit together women notice them immediately it's never a situation where they're getting passed over if they ask a girl on a date she's gonna say yes there's this top 15 percent of guys underneath those 15 percent of guys are all women and underneath those women are the bottom 85 percent of men and those bottom 85 percent of men are chasing those women and those women are chasing those top 15 percent of guys when people talk about concepts like a patriarchy or do men or women cheat more the problem is you're talking about two different genders but there's three different genders this there's high status men there's women and there's low status men those are three different <laughs> genders very Great good home. now does that not track with what she just said she yeah he looks guido yeah. No, well, I'm asking you, do you guys understand my, my analogy here? Yeah. I, I've said that there are three genders because women in general, like you guys all, like a lot of you guys agree with each other. When you get older, you kind of still have the same mentalities. I don't think that high status women and low status women generally believe things that much different. But high status men have like numerous more sexual partners, have greater lifetime income. Like they, there's so many other indicators that show that they're different. They're a completely different species than lower status men. High status men are being chased on social media. Low status men are chasing women on social media. Do you guys agree with that? Mm -hmm. Or do you think yeah. what I'm saying is whereas I don't see the same thing for women. I see very average looking women getting fucking tons of attention from men, even though they, they may be, you know, overweight or whatever. So I'm just curious. You guys agree with that? Cool. Yeah. I just been saying that there's three genders. It's just like men bifurcate in the top 15% and the bottom 85%. And speaking of which, do you have the one that says, um, let's see here. The thing is, um, do you think would you rather, well, th this one goes, what do you, what do you prefer in a man? This one right but here? Beauty is subjective. That's and that's the thing about being overweight. Some men want yeah. that. And I was going to okay. say, okay. you know, some want super skinny. Some okay. Want. So, so just, just so we're clear. And maybe it's that's a, like they're formable. Okay. So one, yeah. one more thing. Beauty is subjective to a point. Men generally prefer, no, they, they do studies like this all I've the time. I've seen women way overly obese that men just give everything to. Yeah, because, because he's they couldn't get anything else. Because, because, no, because, no, 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 because he no, sells. No, no, no. Because the thirst is real. That's a lie because I was working. Chuck chasers. I've been working as a bottle. Bo uh, a cocktail he's either bottle. settling or cheating on the side. No, no, no. I've been working as like a pool bottle service girl for four years now. And even sometimes when I go to the pool, I'm like, how the fuck did this guy get this girl? How to and spot I'm a like, rich guy. What? <laughs> and I'm like, you're fucking smoking hot. Guido is fuck, whatever. And then you get this chick, like it doesn't even matter. Yeah, because they're so desperate. Be be matter. Because if your logistics are bad, you if like. you're no, if your logistics are bad, men need sex, and they'll just settle for. If you don't believe me, go to go to go to Pope Air Force Base. Go to fucking Fort Hood and go see how there's so many is good that looking in dudes there. Canada? You know that Fort Hood is in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fort Hood's in Colleen, in Colleen, Texas. Fort Mac. Right. But, but if you go, if you go to some of these if you go to some of these infantry bases where it's like seven dudes to every guy, you'll see really good looking dudes dating ugly women because they don't have options. Well, but, that's the thing. Hold on, hold on. Let like me ask you something. Who, 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 who here lives in Who here lives in Vegas? Who here lives? Oh, talking about who here lives in Vegas? Who here lives in Vegas? Who here has been in Vegas and you've seen a club promoter or a fucking VIP host who is dating a girl way out of his league? Anybody? Thank you, all of you. Exactly. There's been a because, ton of guys because the logistics but, but the logistics are like that here because it's like like four girls for every guy. It's regional. Where, whereas if you do this at if you do this on an army base, it's like seven guys for every girl, and that's why the whole thing. The is hottest ten in like Butte, Montana, is an is like a six in like Jesus. Miami, Florida. I yeah. absolutely agree because I've been living in San Diego for six years. I just moved back to Salt Lake where I'm from. And the ratio, like in San Diego, it's like one good looking guy to every 20 good looking girls. Like, <laughs> it's LA. And then in nice. Utah, it's the complete opposite. Oh, yeah. Like, There's definitely a population like, differential. Or, I mean, they don't have as many options in Utah in as they do in San Diego. So it's different. And Jory, sit me up. Speaking, okay. speaking, of, fat, speaking of fat chicks, speaking, what's your speaking. biggest turn off in guys? <laughs> Oh my god. When they don't work out. When they don't work oh out. Like, Bitch, are you oh, really? crazy? So, yeah. White men. What do you mean? <laughs> White men. So what do you guys prefer in a guy? Really rich, really black. Oh no. <laughs> 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 I don't go for black men. It's five? Yeah. Yeah, just lots of money, rich, really. Yeah. Like a, a yacht and stuff? Yeah, I can't do black men. As long as they're rich and they can be my today. brother or my sister. Take me on trips. Take Either you on way. trips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here, here's no, before, before we go, I want to yeah. ask you a question. Ladies, how many of you think that these girls can actually get that guy to, to have sex with them? Who here thinks they can? 
Um, I don't think I got bad news for you. Yes, they can. They can. 100%, 100% they can. They can. Wow. 100%. They're those good. girls can get the guys they want. Well, this is why I said there's like... three genders. There's high status men who women are chasing. There's women who have <laughs> a plentitude of fucking options. And then there's the bottom 85% of men who are chasing those women, addicted to pornography, paying for OnlyFans, oh, and fucking that 22 year old dude who's sitting there like, that's crazy <laughs> that my girlfriend wants to fuck <laughs> Lindy Waters the third. Okay, no, go wait, ahead. Wait. What were you saying? Sure. But here's something I realized though. So you have these girls who are not attractive, and they have these very high standards. Something I just noticed, though, when we because we do the bikini competition, yeah. we do the costume contest. When you talk to the really attractive women, like nines and yeah, tens, so they don't have this it's, standard it's so, at all. It, it's so funny when you talk to girls who like humble. You talk to the girls. They don't say. When you talk to the girls who like win, ridiculous. Yeah, they talk to girls who win the bikini competitions. They're always just like, yeah, I just want a down home guy who'll just take care of me, and he doesn't. He just has to be a little taller than me, and like, but whenever take I talk care to these girls, huh? Take care of Yeah, them. but I won fourth, and I still go for Guido toxic, narcissistic men. So I guess it's me, not them. No. Well, Hillary is very insightful. Uh, <laughs> Hillary is that's a very enlightened way to look at that. Do you love your guidos? I love you. my guidos. <laughs> women want to be protected. I have a particular and type, and women every and then the attraction comes third. Like the attraction comes third. I could be with an ugly guy as long as he's protecting me and providing. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, uh, definitely. So I can definitely see that. It doesn't matter. It's not the same skill as men judge women. It's just not. Tell these we bitches to go to hell. <laughs> Big Mo, where's Big Mo at? Big Mo, are we gonna go eat? Are we going to eat after this, Mo? Mo's here somewhere. Okay. He goes. Right, let's pop, let's pop it up on the screen one more time. First date with a woman who's no, it's all a entrepreneurial. Oh, woman. Sorry, let me back it up. There you go. Right on a first date with a woman who's a very entrepreneurial woman, runs a very successful business. And the first date, I told her, meet me here, dress like this. I ordered her drinks. I ordered her food. I love that. I took care. Of, okay, bam, immediately. And this is a woman yeah. who's extremely masculine. She's in charge of people, the whole business. So she has to be on edge. I come along and I relieve that responsibility. Oh, that's hot. That's, 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 that's so hot. That's what every girl wants. Well, it's like the tomboy masculine. And he's good looking. He just worded it perfectly. Yeah. And, and he does porn. You can and actually hit him up. He's a, he's a he's a male porn star. Is. Sterling Cooper's a male porn star. Maybe he's kind of Guido. Yeah. He's actually flying. He's actually flying in tomorrow. Well, we <laughs> in tomorrow? Yeah. Oh damn! We should have had him on the fucking show. Yeah. Wait, he couldn't be on that. Fucking Sterling. So you know what? Though? He's he gives looking. girls. He gives girls structure. Like, hey, dress like this. Show up like this. Da 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 da. And we'll see what goes on. Mm -hmm. Like that's like sometimes like that's what I would do, want do because I'm so masculine. Do, like I'm a so, Capricorn so, and I'm the one who's like, I'll a, buy you shit before you buy me shit. Hillary, what a great, what, a, a great thing here is. Do you think it's more effective the more masculine the girl acts, because you get to relieve her of more of her masculine. Maybe. So maybe a super feminine woman it, would it work as it well? It wouldn't work. As it well. wouldn't work as well because okay. she's already like, oh yeah, I've got my nails and hair and this. And I need I'm to like, add him I'm to like, my list of dudes. I'm like, I'm Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm Tom. Sterling, don't say I never did anything for you. I like, just uh, made your uh, Sterling. I just you made your life what? a whole lot more complicated. Actually, for both scenarios, maybe women that are already feminine, and like especially for women that right. have that like business mindset, and like you can shut it off. Like that's. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, I want to shut off my brain when I'm with my man. Sammy, I want my Sammy, man Sammy, right. Sammy right. he's, th he's 36. Yes or no? How many years older than that? Is that? 13. 13. <laughs> maybe, but I, 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 don't, I don't know about dating someone in the, the industry. Uh, I don't know about dating someone in the industry. He's retired. He's, he's retired. He's retired. Oh, he's retired. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it funny how like, a male yeah. porn star retired? It's no big deal. I'll hire him to become my lawyer. No problem. Don't give a shit. Isn't yeah. it funny? <laughs> Chloe, what do you think? I would not date him. You would not date him? It's but do you agree with what he was saying? Forget yes. that. Before. Do you agree with the part we were saying where he ha handles everything? Yes. I it is really that. one of these interesting things that I don't know if it's estrogen or if it's just female evolutionary psychology. But when you take, and this is going to come off as very sexist, and I don't give a fuck. It, when you take the decision making uh, matrix out of the woman's hands and you as the man make the decision, most women, most of the time, find that way more attractive. Yeah. Yeah. And when I let, when I ask my girlfriend to make a decision, it's literally like a deck of cards collapsing. She's like, I can't <laughs> believe that I have to make a decision on anything. And so that's one of these weird things. I don't know what if it's estrogen or what it is that causes that, but me as a man, you it's see like, that let's make a decision. see that with because when I'm in a liberal school and the girls are all boss bitches, when I was promoting, yeah. they all just wanted one guy to just make the decision for them yeah. for that yeah. night. Yeah. The entire night. Yeah. 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 Well, that, that's, that's what promoters and, do. And, okay, let, let me go evolutionary on you. Okay. You know, evolutionarily on you. Um, <laughs> it's because women are the vulnerable sex. That's why. Right. Because they need a man for, I hate to say, you know, guidance and everything, but they need men for protection and secu long-term security mm -hmm. and always have. And uh, I think right now we've kind of, since we everybody is equal and since everybody, like, we, it's the blank slate bullshit, like men and women are just as, you know, capable as each other. 
each other, we kind of lose that innate natural complementary complementariness between the between the sexes. And so what happens is the reason why women like a guy to be dominant, they it's because they need a guy who can kick ass. They need a guy who's going to protect them and save them from like invading tribes. They need them from somebody who's going to protect them while they're pregnant, nurturing the the baby that they just had. Right. And so it, as far as female psyche is concerned, their primary concern really is long term security, whether or not it's it's the reality of our age right now doesn't matter because the firmware in our head right now that's been planted over you know hundreds of thousands of years uh if not if not millions millions years, um is is there in the sense that like w women look for security they're looking for a guy who's got who, who can get paid they look for a guy who's hot too because they want to reproduce with that guy but primarily in the long term that woman only has maybe between you know from 18 to 28 years old during the party years right there that's when she's at her peak of her her sexual agency right there beyond that you've got a, t a window of 10 years in a life that's going to be maybe 90 years i don't know women outlive guys right so from from say 30 or 40 onwards are looking primarily for guys who can pay the bills guys who can like take care of them take care of the kids take care of the offspring and so as a result of hundreds of thousands of years of, of evolution women looking for guys who can actually provide them with long-term security is why that's still hot that's why when when Sterling says stuff like that, they go, mm -hmm. "Damn!" And he's got an accent. He's got an Australian accent too, right? And so that just adds to the sort of the mystique and the mystery of the guy. But he's he's speaking your language, like he, he like every girl on this table is just like, "Man, I get with but that guy." We just from that attitude. If we were looking for was security, why would we make fun of our sugar daddies? Because we're because for someone that takes the <laughs> right. true because you still need a guy. Let's reiterate. Let's reiterate. Need a guy who's hot. Let's reiterate. And you, takes the lead. Book well, no. Beautiful. Who does it? Just let's reiterate. You do make fun of your sugar daddies. Not all of them. Some of them. <laughs> yeah. Some of them. Yeah. Some of them. You do make fun of your sugar daddies. Not all of them. Just want that on. I just want to clip that. On tape, yes. Just make sure you clip that, guys. Uh, okay. No, that. That yes. Like, like that's one thing. Like, we're yes. gonna focus on it in MOA in the next couple months. Is like, like this whole idea that like you can get away with paying women for sex and that somehow you have game. We're going to eradicate that. No, yes. but you we're going to eradicate. Can I help with that? I would yeah. love. To we're help going with to eradicate that. You don't that always bullshit. have a sugar daddy that you're gonna fuck. Right. Like some sugar daddies only want to like you're their fucking counselor or like or companion. No, 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 no. They, they. They want to, but, but you're the not girls going don't. to. But exactly. you still got the fucking money to and do it. So he gives a fuck. You. And at the end of the day, those aren't the sugar daddies that we're making fun of, or maybe mm -hmm. we are because they're like, eh, they those don't are definitely the sugar right. daddies. So, that so fun we we of. just went. We just went through. They don't even fuck us. But we just. Sugar daddy that but we just. But we just. We just went through. We just went through the scenario, the pretty woman scenario, right? But I need a billion. I need a billionaire to step in and save me from. Myself. That's basically what. But there's not what it's gonna be society. like that because at the end of the day, they got probably five other sugar fucking babies that they're sugar taking babies. care of too. Fifteen, not five. Whatever. Okay. Same but shit. They're you, from LA, Vegas. There's different Kier types Kiersey, of sugar. Kiersey, can you take care of yourself? I am taking care of myself. Mm -hmm. well, I mean. Do you make? Do you make as much as some of your sugar daddies? I'm not a billionaire, multi-millionaire. Absolutely. But are you with multi-bajillionaires, though? I don't. Yeah, absolutely. I would not entertain somebody if they were not of a certain caliber. But I also don't want to work so hard that I reach that status. I want to be taken care of in, in a relaxed see, uh, the, see, that's, state. I work that, hard every day, regardless if I do. Well, have of course a you do. Well, of course you do. I will for yeah. myself, mm -hmm. but I will never I'm work not that a lazy hard. Uh, well, for myself, I'll work hard. But if I'm in a relationship, the, what you do for a man when you're in a relationship, I'm sorry, he has to provide that masculine energy, or mm -hmm. I will be alone. Yes, because you need I a guy so, that so can protect you. Masculine energy, in, in in addition to money, and he's not using money as a crutch to create money attraction. Money is masculine energy, and I don't, I don't want <laughs> to have to earn it. That's the clip. This, please clip this. Please, please clip this. Clip Story, this. mark that. No, <laughs> there is there is women who make ten times more exactly, money than but fucking men. But because they're boss bitches. Yeah, just like yeah, I'm exactly. a boss bitch, you're a boss exactly. bitch. She's a boss bitch with the seven but million dollars in real estate. So how about that? I, if I met a billionaire. I could sit down. She's a, a millionaire. I could sit down being a boss bitch if I don't have to work. The reason, I have crypto. I have one Bitcoin, one Ethereum. That still costs the, me a boss The reason. Bitch. The reason. I know you can be a boss bitch. The reason you think. The we reason choose, you think you're a boss bitch. We choose to have sugar daddies and fuck for money. We exactly. don't do it. Exactly. The okay. reason. The reason you to. think you're a boss bitch right now is because of that security. You need to provide exactly. that security for, for yourself myself. because you can't. Because you can't find. 
the billionaire. I don't need him. To no, say you can it, have three of them. Well, it, diversify. So you need three billionaires. I see. So you're the you're the hooker with the heart of gold, and you need the billionaire to come and save you from yourself. Well, because because you know because that's that's the story. That's the plot line. You don't from, need from, any. I have one Pretty Bitcoin woman. and one Ethereum. I'm a boss ass bitch, and I've been working hard for my money, regardless if right. I have sugar daddies or not. You're I so grew up on my own. I didn't have my parents to raise me. Yeah, this same. Or that. Because doesn't matter. because you can't rely on a man on, to on provide a man to you provide with that. So I'm the tomboy well, masculine fucking if bitch. If someone came up and they're like, I'm a billionaire. Here's cool. A black I don't give a fuck. How about you show me? No. Cool. How about you put the black card in my name, honey? And then what if they do? Well, then that's just how much they're going to choose to you. And then, you know Absolutely. what? It has to be in my bank account. sounds horrible for the man. I just really, right. if I was a man, I would really <laughs> recommend not putting listen, a black I, card. I, no offense. No, I love you guys in either one of your names. Now you know what there is. I would without, recommend no black card for the man, Without a man, I make over 100K per year. No, I'm just going to say that. I've met plenty of okay, Rachel, men that will put a black yeah. card in I'm just going to say that right now. It's Rachel, Rachel from uh, Suits. <laughs> Yeah, the paralegal. Actually, yeah, thank you. I, yeah, exactly. She goes. Exactly. She goes from being a paralegal to the Duchess of Sussex. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Incredible. I'm just saying, but I'm the just only saying. men that will put a black card in your name have a micro. I'm sorry. I'll put my own name in my black card. <laughs> Talk Wait, whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. Everyone, everyone, be quiet. Be quiet. Say that one more time. Say what you just said one more time. Into the mic. Please. Into the mic. The Loud. The only men that will put a black card in your name have a micro. They do. It's small. Uh, I can't. Now you know no, why they're that's laughing a line. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna say this, you guys. Thank you. I've, I've had it all. Hold on, hold on. I've dated legit billionaires. Thank you. I've, I've, hold on, no, no, no. But did they give you a black card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did. Wait, wait, wait. Let her, let her, let her Listen, he will vouch for me. Yeah, million dollar but rings. They have a big dick. Let's, they have a very nice cock. I've yes, never very met pleasurable. Yes, with hold a big on. Dick. And, let her and I also <laughs> have left that man. Why? Because it doesn't matter how much money somebody has. Wait, let her finish. Thank you. The house, the one house I live in right now, I bought myself with my own money, $4 million. That's one of my houses. I've bought everything I have myself. Yeah, could I go live with the guy in a $50 million house in Bel Air? I sure can. I choose to live on my own with my own money, with my own happiness, and I will leave any man with any amount of money if I don't feel respected. Right. Because yes. I'd rather be happy, and every that is a woman, boss bitch to and me. And every yes. woman should have that foundation. But I created that foundation myself. Oh, yeah. Exactly. For me, and as a single mother, friend. so as a That's single a mother since I was sixteen, yeah. I was pregnant. Anyway, so so, so terrific. And That's the point is, respect. the point is, we love you all. We don't want to judge you, but we don't want to date you either. Go ahead. What's the next uh, one? We don't want to date Mayor you. Mayor 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 you have a girlfriend. What's up? <laughs> we don't want to date you. <laughs> love you guys. You guys are great, awesome, fun to listen to. Love having you on my show, and we don't want to date you. Keep going. Male horniness. That one right there. <laughs> 